Hey everybody, welcome back to our marathon of recording. Actually, it's my marathon of recording, even though um, this is coming out 10 days later. Um, I am just continuing from where I left off immediately. Um, we're doing just the end. We're um, finishing this up. We have, it's listed as two chapters. So hopefully, I mean, it looks like it's not very long. Um, there are some final side quests to do real quick, and then we'll we'll go right to the end dungeon. So, here we go. I'm gonna find that black chocobo that. Okay, so I'm f I'm flying over here because um, I can't land my airship in the desert or in the forest, but I can land the chocobo in the forest. Ooh. Okay, this is Phoenix Tower. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to go all the way through my cycle, so I destroyed the thing. Oops, didn't mean to give myself an elixir. To give the elixir to the magic pot. <laughs> Yay! Yippee! Who's a beast? That's basically a behemoth. I mean, it looks exactly like one. I'm treating it like a, like a, um, a final boss kind of thing. Ooh. Yes.
It's treating that like a end boss enemy because it's slowly disappearing. Level 16, we're more than halfway there. Okay, so we learned roulette, and officially, I think that should be all blue magic. Ooh, Phoenix Tower. 30, 30th floor. Hear you! Oh, hear you. It's good to see you. Is this the wind drake that saved you? I, t I was talking to it like it was an actual person. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. Oh, nice to... Oh. Hear you, what are you doing? He says he wants to help you. Here you. So here you is the phoenix. I thought the phoenix was more of a bird, not so much of a wind drake. I see. It's like a phoenix figure because it came back from the dead. I don't even know. Did it die? I don't know. If Sildra did. Lena, here you knew he didn't have much longer to live. That means in the forest when he saved me. It seems like it seems he came to this tower so he could use the last of his strength to help you. Hear you. I hear you. What do you mean, Mother's not going to make it? Dear, the doctor did his best. It seems the only thing that can cure her is a Windrake's tongue. Lana, 
Where are you going with that knife? Certainly you don't mean to... <laughs> Stop! Sire, I'll go. Princess Lena, kill him and you'll kill the last of the Windrakes. What's more, the Queen Mother has always cared deeply for Hiryu. Will you still cut out his tongue? I guess not. Princess, your father used to come here every day, just as conflicted as you are now. But perhaps you made the right decision. And obviously she didn't cut his tongue out because he's still alive. He was still alive before this. No, it doesn't matter. We got a summon and Lena's mother's still dead. The Windrake Hiryu became a phoenix and entrusted his strength and soul to Lena. Received the mo summoned monster phoenix. Hiryu, thank you. So continuing through the desert and go up around the other way. So I'm at North Mountain. Oh, this is like actually the same North Mountain with the really weak, easy enemies and all the open treasure chests that I've already opened. You who have broken the seal, if you can best me in battle, I shall award you my power. Ooh, that's a cool looking Bahamut. Alright, pretty good. All that leveling up paid off. And I received the Summon Monster Bahamut. So that was the end of Chapter 9. So you can see how quickly... Um, that chapter had to that chapter went and how I have to like put the two last chapters together do the last final side quest items and then um, now we'll go and beat the game I guess all right so now the inter interdimensional rift there we go Ooh, the desert.
For a thousand years, we have been sealed within the rift. Ooh. Once Exteth obtains the power of the void, our new home, a world of darkness, will be born. You've been a thorn in Lord Exteth's side for long enough. The void will be your burial ground. Bwah! Nah. Ooh. Oh, okay. So this is another part of the interdimensional rift here. I can't play the piano. Oh, so this is the actual... Oh, they're all... <laughs> Everything's fake here. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's why I couldn't go in that door, because that was part of the interdimensional rift. And I can get... Oh, that is so clever. I had no idea why that that pot was there. But now I do. Now I understand. And everybody's frozen. It's probably, like, frozen in time. Now it's a forest? Oh, now it's that forest. Cool. Ooh. Moss fungus. I'm gonna have to use fire for these ones.
No, these woods are so peaceful. Why don't you rest here? For all eternity! I was wondering when one of those monsters was going to pop out and, um, and try to seduce me. Alright, two can play at the game. I'm going to reflect. Common tactic that I learned from Final Fantasy, probably three, around three. Well, maybe, maybe four. Ooh, that looks pretty scary. Wasn't so bad. It really is a super boss. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go around this one. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight that. Maybe I'll try again later. Hmm. To be honest, I never thought you'd make it this far, but no matter, soon I shall be rid shall rid you of your pitiful lives. The instant you touched this book, the dimensional switch was activated. Big mistake. Is it an owl? A hoot hoot? A panda.
Well, there goes a panda. So Omega must really be that super boss of this game. You have to really figure out a strategy to go in and hit quick. A thousand year old book. From forth the roiling skies was loosed a vile beast devoid of soul. Omega was its name. The dragon Shiryu came upon its heels. Not even the legendary weapons twelve should, would subdue this, these evil creatures. Within the rift were the demons interred, so should they remain until eternity's end, their names to stay unspoken air more. Hmm. Poetic. The Book of Magic, Volume 14. The Secret of Giga Flare. When gathering power for this spell, one is rendered utterly defenseless for a moment. Castors, be wary. Oh, I get it. So I open the book and then I can go to a different area. I get it. Thor's hammer. Oh, cool. <laughs> I have to fight a bunch of Altroid, or whatever it is. A bunch of old men. Reveals his true form. Oh, Jura Avis. Red slippers. Oh, <laughs> they back me into a corner here. Oh, catastrophe. 
Oh. Didn't even let me do anything, did ya? Alright, fine. I will Isuna. Goodbye, Catastrophe. Halt! Are you the one who bear ones who bear the crystal shards? Yes. I see. Then this shall be your burial ground. Who is this? Azul Magia. Um, apparently, I can self-destruct, and that will defeat him easily. Oh. Because he learns my... <laughs> he learns my... He's a blue magic guy. And he's like, oh, I'm going to self-destruct, and he kills himself. That's funny. Thank you, I've been locked down here for ages. Here's a little reward for setting me free. Smooch. Oh, thanks. Yeah, there's a little shortcut. Cool. Uh, I guess I need to cast Toad on myself. Hang on. You'd leave without ever saying goodbye. How rude. I don't give my kiss of death to any, just anyone, you know. Come here, I'll treat you right. Treat you to a slow death at the hands of the master of this castle. I, Halicarnassus. And there he goes. If only there wasn't something easy like that for Omega.
That's as far as you go. Beyond here, the power of the void is contained. You shall not enter. <clears throat> hmm. I was not expecting that. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything, Kryle. You're too late. And it didn't even do anything. Okay. So that's how to do it. You charge us up for Giga Flare and then you just use Break on them. That's just like a rule that nobody ever mentioned, said anything. It's just like, it's just a thing that happened. And maybe it's in a strategy guide somewhere. Or maybe that's just something the developers just like, oh, there's my little secret. If people try this, if they can't beat them, So here's the grand finale, it looks like. Who King Behemoth. I don't know what level they're at. Okay, so don't use... Don't use Blizzaga or else it'll counter with Meteor. That doesn't even work. Well, that works. Fuma Shuriken. And Crystal Dragon. Gilgamesh again. How about the vile beast? <laughs> Gilgamesh. It's like undead Gilgamesh, I think. Wait a minute, Barts? Zounds, this is no beast, just Barts. You should have said something. I don't like it here, you know. <laughs> Creepy monsters look around every corner. And I can't find the way out. Cripes, I'm gonna have to have a nervous breakdown. Anyway, how did you get here? Or rather, how do you get out of here? Oh, just go that way. I see. Let us egress post haste. When we're out of here, what say we have a few spectacular adventures together? Just us five. Oh yes, I forgot. You got that whole saving the world thing going on. Phooey. Well, if you make it out safely. Ha, ah, no ifs about it. 
I'm certain we'll meet again. And when we do, I hope you'll consider me, uh, uh, uh <clears throat> never mind. Ha ha. Hasta la bye bye. <laughs> that's, that's so cute. Oh, okay. So I'm not getting that last chest because that's a super boss. Ooh, what is this? This light will never fall into your hands. I've achieved achieved invincibility. Okay, was, uh, do you really believe you can defeat me? I couldn't read those. Hang on. Hang on. My barriers of invincibility! You've left me with no choice. Turn me all into zombies. Have a taste of my true power. It's all you can eat. Oh God. Gilgamesh? Am I fashionably late to the party? Why, hello there. Surprised to see me? Ha! Huh. If I'd left you in the lurch, I'd look like a jerk for all of history. 
as if it, as if I'd let that happen. Humph, you have a big mouth. If you're so eager to fight, then you can be the first to die. Wanna bet on that? Do your worst, Baldy. You can't even hold a birthday candle. To the blazing flame of my winning spirit. Kryle. Your grandfather. He was a pretty strong guy. Grandpa. And you, Ferris. Try falling in love or something. You might learn a thing or two. About yourself. Luna, you're always so caring towards animals. Never lose that pure heart of yours. And Bart's. I wanted to fight you one more time. Mano a mano, of course. You have admirable companions. I envy you. Gilgamesh. Enough of this. Die! I believe that's my line. Oh, he self-destructed taking out both of them. I knew he would sacrifice himself as soon as he jumped in like that. Um, which he didn't need to do because we probably would have taken him out anyway. If all he had was 9999 left. It would have only taken a couple more times. Uh... Okay, so, I didn't get this Genji shield, which is kind of annoying, but that's alright. Oh, so, I didn't get Genji shield or Genji armor, but that's alright. So all I have to do is defeat X-Death now. See if I can, I don't know, because... Oh, shoot, I shouldn't do that, because he's going to cast comment on me. Or Meteor. Here we go. You are too late. Mwahaha. Finally it is in my grasp. The greatest power ever known, that which can control the universe, the power of the void. I will crush all who stand in my way. I think I'll begin with your precious friends. I hope you'll enjoy watching them get sucked into the void. This is it. Oh, there it is again, getting, they're all floating into the air. Uh, 
Stop! Let them go! Mwahaha! And now you will never... Earth. And now you too will meet your end inside the void. I mean, one of these days I'm going to learn how to read. And that's how X Death took over the world. The end. Bart, stand up. Dad? Say that, Kelger. Grandpa. Galif. Enter the Dawn Warriors. Bart, Lena, Ferris, Cryo. We'll hold off the void. You kids take care of Exdeath. The only ones who can save the world from the power of darkness are the Warriors of Light. That's you. Now go. What? Why is the power of the void disappearing? No matter. Now, take this. We gotta fight a tree. What is this? Kirby's Adventures in Dreamland? Father! Papa! Now, this is it. Take your chance. Destroy X-Death. Onward, Warriors of Light. Oh, they just needed one more. X-Death, you'd better get ready, cause here we come. Ugh. Okay, so can I flare? Is he gonna... Is he gonna... So why won't Gold Needle work? Oh, Kryl's like, dead, dead? Oh, dead. So I need to raise, not Asuna or whatever. X-Death was engulfed by the Void. No! Why? The Void was mine to command. How could it? Ah! Whoa. I am Neo X Death. All memories, dimensions, existence, all that is shall be returned to nothing. Then I too can disappear. Forever. Oh, wow. Pretty neat. Um, let me see if I can raise. The laws of the universe are in chaos.
So it looks like I I might have beaten the top part of it and I got like, so, like three more to go. Oh goodness. Okay. Well, uh. Okay, so I just got rid of one more part of it. Next death. I got just two more to go, I guess. Okay, I guess we're on the last part now. I think he's almost dead. Up, oh, there he goes. It's disintegrating into non existence. into oblivion. <sighs> In the beginning there was only the void. But from the void came four essences. They formed the crystals and the world was born. Hope blessed the earth, courage blazed with flame. Devotion turned water into the seeds of life, passion for knowledge spread wisdom on the winds. If ever the void threatens to engulf the world so long as the four essences still exist in mankind, light will be born anew. It is from the void that the four essences will rise and once again they will shine bright. That was a lot more words than I'm used to. Usually the words that scroll up are like little blurbs, not whole paragraphs I have to read really quickly. And they're all dead. Oh. They can fly. The void is still here. But why? We beat Xdeath. Is it because the crystals are all gone? Will the world be engulfed by the void? No. <laughs> oh. Hope blesses the earth. Courage lights the fires. Devotion breathes life into the waters.
passion spread knowledge on the winds. Oh, and the crystals are being reformed. So, so far, the four crystals concept has appeared really in, in every game. Maybe not so much in two. I don't know. Did two have a lot like centered around the crystals? I know one and three were really big with that. Um, and then four was still... The, the crystals are like the MacGuffin of the Final Fantasy universe it's every it's what drives the plot forward for all the characters the world it's being reborn <clears throat> and the crystals as well there was still power left in the crystal shards thank goodness lena ferris cryo it's because you took such good care of the shards. You did a pretty good job yourself, Bots. Don't forget Grandpa! Now the wind will return to Tycoon. Correct, my dear. Dad! Grandpa! Father! Kalgar, Zizat. The world still needs you. It's far too soon for you kids to be joining us. Go, return to, the, to your world, the one you saved. I'd love to see a remake of this. You could really remake any of them. That's, I think that's kind of what they were doing with... Uh, with um what was it the the origins or whatever the the one game for like final fantasy one that they um something like adventurer or traveler or something um i can't remember the name of it i don't know i'm drawing a blank but they redid a game with current gen graphics and it didn't really like it didn't do incredibly well um, Strangers of Paradise. I don't know why I was thinking adventure or something. But yeah, Strangers of Paradise was like a remake of Final Fantasy 1. I. I haven't played it, so I don't know. But uh, it wasn't incredibly enthralling, I guess. Grandpa! Oh, Grandpa! <laughs> okay. Let us arrived. I like when they do that and then you don't know who's talking, so you do the wrong voice. I guess only if you're doing what I'm doing, that's, you know, it, it has an effect when you're reading it. Okay, who is saying that? Dear Sid and Mid. Oh. Dear Sid and Mid, how are you? It's me, Cryo. Somehow we made it back alive. The, the final battle feels like it was just a bad dream.
Since then I've traveled- oh, since then I've traveled all over. Everything seems peaceful now, like it was before. I didn't realize it was her doing the whole thing because it's the letter. The Chancellor of Tycoon seems quite happy. However, Ferris seems worried about her pirate crew. Everyone in Bal is worried since they have no heir to the throne. They're going to have a Mughal as a king. Oh. Maybe I'll be queen. Yeah, in my dreams. But it would be pretty cool, though. She could be queen. I mean, she helped save the universe. Arch went back to his hometown. He's not giving up traveling, but he said he wanted to spend time near his parents before he set out again. <laughs> Aww. Little Choco Babies. Oh, and Boko and Coco had their chicks. Baby Chocobos are the cutest. You simply must go see them. It's been a year since then. Lena and Ferris are busy running Tycoon, and Bart's is off on another of his journeys. I think I'll go back to that place to where Grandpa's resting. If any of the others happens to drop by, no, I'm sure they'll come. Tell them I can't wait to meet up again. Growl, you did an outstanding job. You all did. Lena. Ferris. Cryo. What about Gallif? Hmm. 
I mean, he was in our party half the game. Probably more than half the game. I like it when they do that and they, they have like all the characters kind of like shorter, a lot shorter than that, but like, like the, the roll call, the cast. If grandpa hadn't saved me back then. The crystals have been restored. And everything's peaceful, but for some reason I'm sad. I guess it's just that. Since Grandpa died, I've been all alone. See you, Grandpa. What are you talking about? You're not alone. We're here with you. Buck up, kiddo. Everyone's here. You all made it. Oh, was that his funeral? <laughs> As if there was any doubt. Like I'd forget about a friend after everything we went through. Everyone, you... There's no need for tears, Kryle. This is a time to be strong. If Galif were here, he'd, be la he'd laugh at your blubbering, kiddo. Probably laughing right now. The crystals have regained their power. This time it's up to us to protect them. I don't know who's saying it. Like Dad and the others did. Say, do you hear that? Aye, I, that I do. Grandpa's voice. No, just the wind blowing through the trees. Or the rippling of water. Or the crackling of a fire. Or the shifting of the earth. Don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but... I can hear it. Yes, it feels warm somehow. Let's go!
Oh wow, that's really cool. So the the end credits are different this time. Oh, what do we see? New? We saw Tonberry, I think, for the first time. We've seen um, Magic Pot. Those are a couple of enemies that are new. Um, Atamos. Um, also, I'm trying to think about, like, Carbuncle. I don't know if Carbuncle's new um, for a summons. And uh, this is the first time we've seen a couple things change. You know, a few things change with, uh, you know, how they focus more. They focus more on the characters. They really, um, it's not that they try to do like a, a twist or surprise ending or anything like that. Or um, they just really focused on expanding the world and the characters and the story it, it you can really see the evolution from one game to another that they the square enix really just built on the themes from the previous games but as i was uh talking about before between five and seven I don't know how much they're going to change, or how, how close to 7 or close to 5 6 is going to be. Now I know that it has to do with, uh, with Magitek, it introduces Magitek for the first time. Um, I kind of know a general idea of um, Terra running from the Empire or something like that, um, and, and I guess that there's... Um, all I know about it is... Terra, Kefka is the the main bad guy, and he's like the psycho clown guy, and um, there's um, they're kind of like outmoding magic and technology is taking over, and that's the first time we'll see anything kind of like that. Um, up until then, it's been you know ancient civilizations that have had technology that are far advanced uh, over our own currently um, which is an interesting concept and they they seem to do that a lot even from right from the first one the last tower that you go to well not the last tower but one of the ending towers that you go to I'm get a little closer because because I'm kind of like sitting way far back um, and one of the the towers uh, one of the one of the last towers in the first one, uh, there are like androids or robots or um, there's like this big mecha tower kind of thing and that's that's interesting in a high fantasy environment um, and I'm, I'm just noticing when I'm looking at what's going on on the screen right now I'm looking at the screen and I'm really close to a bigger screen um, and it just looks like a bunch of fuzzy pixels but when I look at the smaller one it's like looking at it from farther away um, it's it's like very artistic and there's a lot of like you could almost see the shadows of the trees and everything so that's really interesting um, but yeah so what are they gonna do what else are they gonna do in six that we haven't seen yet um, what are some things that haven't shown up yet? Um, I know that, uh, like most of the summons, we've already seen. Um, I, I know in 7 there are quite a few summons that we haven't seen yet. Um, there are quite a few... Actually, there are a lot of enemies um, that we haven't seen yet that show up in 7. Um, and... It seems like they're they might stray away from the job system. I really like the job system. I like how it kind of it kind of perfected and built on what happened in three. It combined both the story aspects of characters that are in your party with the job system that makes you able to do whatever you want to. You can equip your character however you want them to work. 
And if you want your party to be all four black mages, you can do that. You don't have to stick with that all, the whole game like in Final Fantasy 1. And a couple of interesting things, or one thing interesting thing that I didn't realize is that blue mages are introduced in, in Final Fantasy V. Um, and that is actually actually takes the form of an uh, enemy skill in Final Fantasy VII. So how are they going to do it in VI? I have no idea. I don't know... I don't know uh, anything about it, and that's the great thing about, about VI. Um, and actually, this will have already happened, um, so this is kind of a, a time warp um, um, kind of thing right now. And by that I mean... Um, as of this video coming out, I have already been playing Final Fantasy 16 and already been streaming that, uh, not streaming, um, recording and doing episodes of Final Fantasy 16. And who knows what else? Probably, uh, well, Tears of the Kingdom before that, um, a while ago. But as of recording it, um, I, I banked a whole bunch of episodes. So this, I actually recorded in February, which is more than half a year difference. But this is, it's gonna be cool because it's gonna open me up to be able to do some more game stuff. Um, and I'll think about what else I can do on the channel. But uh, but right as of right now, I can say I'm looking forward to those other games too, Tears of the Kingdom and Final Fantasy 16. More, more so, I think Final Fantasy 16 because I'm really curious to see where they go with it and how they learn, how Square Enix hopefully learned from their mistakes in 15, and how they can, how they learned from Final Fantasy 7 remake. But uh, also, it's going to be at least three more months until Final Fantasy Rebirth comes out. Uh, and in the, in the meantime, I'll be finishing six Final Fantasy six. So we'll see. We'll see how that shakes up. We'll see how um, if Final Fantasy seven rebirth. Like I said, I'm I'm doing the recording of this in February, so I have no idea what's come out between February and the end of September. So, so I don't know if they've released trailers. They really, like, very likely have already. Um, and you probably will have, if, I, if they have, you probably have seen re reactions or, or at least me talking about it in, um, in what I've been recording. So, uh, so as far as I, as far as I know, as far as past me knows, um, I don't, I don't know anything beyond Cloud and Sephiroth walking uh, into up to the Nibelheim reactor. That's as far as they've released so far in this timeline. <laughs> Again, here we go to the fans across the globe, both past and present, and to the crew who brought the originals to life. We offer our profound and heartfelt thanks. going on, but I kind of like it. Oh, it's giving stats of like when I defeated... What is that? That's everything that I ha that I can do. Everything that I've mastered. 30... Or 73 out of 74 abilities. Learn. So that means I just have to level up the rest of that and Maybe I'll get a, um, a um, um, an award, not award, um, achievement, that's what they call it.
It's funny that most of them are mime, except for uh, Ferris, because the rest of them have 73 out of 74 abilities learned, and it's just mime they have to finish learning. Ferris is the only one who has who has a learned mime. Look how items and attack are at the bottom. The end. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you when I start Final Fantasy VI.